Hello and welcome to another version of uh, Rai Vision Reflection and I'm Satish Rai. Uh, today I continue uh, with the second session of my current series, uh, which is uh, Global Gilmit, a Comprehensive History and Heritage uh, textbook from 2000 BCE, including the colonial period to the current era. In this session, I will continue my present. In this session, in this session, I will continue my presentation on values of data, information, knowledge, and wisdom. I have provided references to all my sources in the textbook that I am writing on these issues. Introduction continues. According to Mahesh Prabhu, the objective of ed education is to provide enough knowledge so that we are prepared for most, if not all, situations. At the very least, the process of education would like to ensure that one has developed the necessary mental faculties to address problems of all types. However, in digital age, we often consider information as knowledge and a form of power. Data, information, and knowledge are three distinct things. While they are finally interrelated, they aren't the same. Education's objective, therefore, is also to ensure that people understand their distinctiveness. However, the education that is heralded as the savior of mankind often fails to provide this perspective. Data is a raw, unorganized fact. When the data is processed, organic and structured, it becomes information. Knowledge does not imply understanding the difference between data and information, but also is applicability and shortcomings. Knowledge can be experiential or theoretical, direct or indirect, through education, experience, and even both. Both provide us with data and information. However, it becomes knowledge only when someone understands and assimilates it. If you are literate, it's possible for you to read all the books in the world without ever understanding them. Data and information, data and information provided in books become knowledge only when an individual grasps, grasps it in a way as to find its application in day-to-day -day life. Bookish knowledge is Verily, data or information untested by a personal experience. This book is designed to provide wider and critical decolonized knowledge and the uh, historic events that have led to the colonization and exploitation of the peoples of color throughout the world. My analysis will start with some of these historical events going back to 2000 BCE Mesopotamia, East Asia and Europe and relate this even to the transportation of Indian men, women and children to British, French and Dutch colonies in the 19th century. I firmly believe that in order to understand the minutest of things, a good understanding of overall environment and factors must be understood first. In order to understand the politics and factors behind this uh, recruitment, transportation, exploitation, and subsequent exile of the Gidmetias of Fiji, all the historical fa factors must be understood thoroughly. Today, when you are blessed with the uh, enormous amount of information available in the internet today, research has become easy to all those who are willing to do so. Kipio's analysis reveals that more than six in 10 people around the world are now online, with over 4.72 billion people using the internet in April 2021. 
historical truth is finally coming out. Light of truth will finally prevail over the darkness of falsehood and half truth written and perpetuated by those who were stooges of the victors. I end this section by saying that what had happened some three to four thousand years ago and since then is still happening today. The weapons of the victors may have changed from clubs, spears, bows and arrows, swords and muskets, machines, guns, atomic bomb bombs, tanks, sophisticated fighter jets, naval vessels to nuclear warheads. But innocent people are still being killed, women and children raped and enslaved, lands appropriated, cities looted, and countries destroyed or overtaken by the victors. Justifications and accusations fly around the globe, but hardly any actions to stop the barbarian acts is effective as millions die each year because of the military actions and many more millions become refugees. The spectacle is witnessed by billions on the televisions and smartphone screens. Global media house compete with each other for the next breaking news, which the billions consume with inhuman glee. With so many people now having access to vast amount of knowledge at their fingertips, this is the first time for the ordinary people to change the world affairs for good of all humans and all the creations of the creators. This book is very small steps towards achieving this eventual aim. A few myths, information that the West has have been propagating for over last 4,000 years. The often repeated saying is that the victors write the history. Since approximately 3,000 years, the Greeks, Romans, and the Western European colonizers, and from the middle of the first century, the Islamic invaders have conquered many nations and imposed their wills upon their, them freely. They have also written most of the history of the, this period which justified their invasions, control of land and people, mass genocide, rapes, lootings, and human trafficking. These are the facts which were hidden from the public for most of this period. There were several people who had traveled through one or several in invaded and occupied lands and have written balanced historical accounts. These written works have also been hidden from the uh, global public. Then when the tribals from kingdom and monarchies came up, the monarchs began controlling knowledge through this a small group of apes. Around the same period, the churches became powerful and they also controlled the knowledge. Often, monarchies and the churches collaborated with each other and managed information and knowledge very well and generally kept the public ignorant or misinformed. I will end this session here and in a few days I will continue uh, this uh, issue and uh, followed by many other sessions and if you uh, like to know more uh, about uh, this uh, book uh, please uh, uh, sus subscribe and uh, share uh, this channel uh, thank you very much and goodbye from Studio Radio.